Team Fearless, you know I love bringing on great guests that add tons of value, and when they do, I like to invite them back on, especially when they have a huge announcement like Mark Simpson from Boostly has for you today here on the Fearless Investor Podcast. Guys, welcome into the Fearless Investor Podcast. You are listening to me, Kyle Stanley, and we have some Big time announcements coming up in the new year. You are going to want to make sure you have your notifications on for all of our YouTube videos, for your podcast, making sure you're tuning in because a lot of you have said, I want to own more properties and we have some major, major news that we're going to be dropping here in the new year that you are going to want to make sure you are up to date on because we're putting so much time in on the back end. We're putting so much time in on relationships. We're putting so much time in on resources that are going to help you thrive and build your net worth, build your equity that you own in properties. And I can tell you right now, when I was purchasing properties, I was building up my net worth majorly and I didn't even know it. Fast forward about maybe 12, 18 months later, I look up all my properties have appreciated, all the tents have been paying down the debt. Plus I've been getting all of the, the net earnings from all of the short-term rentals. And I realized that in about three years time, I had 10 X my net worth. And that's why I started buying more properties again this year, but with interest rates and with everything going on, right? Like what can we do to make this better? And that's what we're going to bring, bring to you is more resources. They're going to help you more strategies. They're going to help you to be able to get more net worth and help uh, build to that goal of creating financial freedom and generational financial freedom as well. So anyway, uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm really passionate about it. And I want you to make sure that you are tuned in when we do make that announcement. But for now, let's go ahead and get to it with Mark Simpson from Boostly. He's got a big announcement. This is a fun conversation I had with another return guest. Hey, Team Fearless, I just want to take a quick break from this podcast to talk about funding your furnishings. If you're listening to the Fearless Investor Podcast, then you probably want to do the Airbnb arbitrage model. Reason being, it's a low barrier of entry, right? $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 to buy furniture with someone else's property. And sure, you can use your own bank account or you can raise the money at a low interest rate from a friend or family member. But wouldn't you rather get that money at 0% interest, aka free money? That's what my friends at Pathway Financial can do for you. Pathway Financial helps people like you get 0% interest credit cards so you don't have to have the financial stress of putting down a ton of money up front for your deals. Think about that for a second. How many arbitrage deals could you do if money was not a concern? Well, that could be the exact possibility with Pathway Financial's help. Get a free quote from them today. Go to fearlesskyle.com forward slash pathway financial to find out how much you can get pre-approved for right now. And don't worry, it won't have any impact on your credit score because it's a soft inquiry. So go once again to fearlesskyle.com forward slash pathway financial and get that free quote. Hey guys, welcome into the Fearless Investor Podcast. Uh, I am excited. A returning guest, Mark Simpson. He is the king of direct bookings and, uh, you know, we are, we are always happy to have Mark in the chat in, in our uh, podcast, but also especially when he's got a big announcement to make. So, you know, rather than like do the whole song and dance of hearing your backstory, I just want to go straight into it, Mark. Like what's going on in Boosley's world and what can you say is, uh, is exciting over in your world right now? Yeah, man. Thanks for having me back. I think this is number three. This would be the hat trick ball. I think it is. World. Yeah, this is this is the hat trick ball. So I look forward to getting that in the post. Uh, what's happening in Boosty? So this year, 2023, we've been uh, working behind the scenes to create something pretty special. Uh, we've been putting together a documentary, and this documentary is going to go live on YouTube on the Boostly YouTube channel on the 26th of, de of December. And the reason why this is important and the reason why I'm, you know, spreading the word and coming onto a podcast like this to sort of spread the word is that it will help everybody that tunes in. Um, so I'm excited for it. We, we basically, we took one host in the UK, we took one host in America, and we just plugged in everything Boostly into these businesses and we've got the results on the offset, which is what's going to go live on the on, on the 26th of December. So what what was the reason for a documentary? I mean, like I, I got to see a little snippet of it. And this thing is I mean, when you say documentary, it is a documentary. We're talking long form, but it is it's cool because 
you're documenting every step along the way of these, these hosts. Why go that route? What was the interest for you? So I've always wanted to do something like this and we've been doing Boostly now for seven years. There's nearly 700 podcast episodes on the, on the Boostly channel and, and the YouTube channel. There's over a thousand actual videos on the YouTube channel, but everything is very talking heads. It's podcasts. It's mm -hmm. you talking to a camera. And I wanted to do something that would just disrupt the feed. And it was more to scratch my own itch than anything, because I know that what we do works. And we've got many of testimonials, case studies, like the proof is in the pudding. We've just hit $50 million of tracked direct bookings via our websites this year. Uh, but I wanted to put together a documentary. And I've sort of been putting it off for a while, waiting for like the, the, the perfect opportunity. And last year, I discovered a, a production company called I Am Productions. We had a really good Zoom call back end of last year. And I said, this is what I want to do. Can we do it? And they said, yeah, hundred percent. So as soon as they gave me the green light, as soon as I had the confidence that I could, I could do this with a production company, we, we sort of set the, set the wheels in motion. I put a little post out in January and my one wish, and I wanted to find two Guinea pigs. Like my wish was number one, they would give me open access to everything in their business. Uh, number two, they couldn't be a Boostly customer. They couldn't be a current Boostly member right now. And number three, uh, they were basically willing to take on board any advice that I would give them and implement it into their business. And, and uh, we put the, the search out. We had many, many applications uh, to go through. Uh, and then by the end of January, we had found our two people. February, we began filming and, and we cracked on from there. We, we wrapped up filming uh, middle of October, which gave us six weeks to edit it. And now it's ready and, and good to go. This also sounds like a little bit of reality TV. We got like some contestants that had to go through an application process. The only difference is, I guess it's not on an Island. That's the only thing that doesn't make reality TV. Right. <laughs> but no, but seriously, I, th this sounds really fun. Like I, I think, um, I'm interested. Are you, are you willing to share maybe just a couple stories or a couple results just so people can really get a grasp of, of what that experience ended up being like for these two applicants? Yeah, hundred percent. So, um, what I, first and foremost, I thought, and I, I sort of assumed that the journeys that both of them would go on would be the same and would like sort of come the other end and they would both be at the same part. What was the result was like far from it. I mean, we had Kearney who is in America. Um, uh, he was a newbie to this world. He had bought his first vacation rental. Uh, down in Orlando, well, Davenport to be more exact. He was based out of Tampa. And, you know, when when he applied, he was so new. Like he had just got his Airbnb listing. Um, he had got good pictures. You know, he'd, he'd, uh, he'd definitely gone down the niche of, um, you know, being close to Disneyland, 100%. Like he had murals mm -hmm. on the wall. But apart from that, nothing really else. Like really nothing else. Um, Justina, who was in the UK, she went down the management route. Uh, so she was doing the management model. Um, she had free properties and she wanted to grow and, and scale. Justina, in, in my opinion, Justina was very good at direct bookings. She was phenomenal at taking an inquiry on Airbnb, getting them to call them direct, like getting them to call on the phone and then booking them direct. She was one of the best. I learned a few tricks from her. But her problem was that she was suffering from shiny object syndrome. Mm. She was bouncing from one software to the next. Uh, if a new sort of solution came, she was like, oh, I want to try that. Uh, she was very much stuck in the weeds of her business. She had a cleaning crew. Uh, she had a, a handyman, but very much day to day stuck in the weeds of the business. She was like quite handy with, with automations. But again, it was it was really set up in a very confusing way. So I could look at it from like the 60,000 foot view looking down onto the business. And I'm like, what what is this <laughs> yeah so for her it was so different to what kearney needed kearney needed like the the basics right how do we get going so introduction to price labs for example introduction to you know a, a pms and and a website and etc justina needed to have the website because she didn't have one but also as well for her it was more let's just focus on the software solution that you have right now. And we, we go into it in the documentary. I'm very lucky that in the documentary, I could call up my friends that, that are the owners of the companies that she uses. So, you know, I know Anarag from Price Labs really well. I know Vinny uh, from Uplisting like, very well. You know, I was able to get loads of people to come on and help with the documentary and just sort of uh, 
we were sort of documented in, in the back end instead of just going bouncing from one to the other, let's just make use of the software that, that you've got. And I think that's like the overriding message that I would give to everybody. Probably there's so many people watching this now uh, who are maybe in the same position of I'm with X PMS and I'm looking to bounce yeah. over this PMS because I've heard <clears throat> of these shiny bells and whistles. But, sure. you know, a, a lot of the times you can get everything that you need by just sticking and reinvesting and properly focusing on what you've got. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was really amazing. I mean, like the, the results were, like I say, that they came out total opposite ends. Ju Justina for her, what we got to was number one, we brought a company in to help her hire. So a big part of the blueprint book, um, which is the, the second book that I published, um, was about making sure you've got everything in place, but it also as well as about hiring. So we, 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 we got a company brought in. Uh, Gravitas Media helped her hire her her first ever virtual team member, and they provided the training and the accountability to make sure that virtual team member came into the business, had SOPs ready, and all those good things. So now she's got somebody that has helped her get out of the weeds of the business, and as she's now grown her portfolio, she's just added in a big block of um of of a of a hotel that's that's basically renting out um, room to room as, as an apartment, which is pretty cool. So that's big for her. And then for Kearney, he's 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 grown this one property uh, place, and he's now demanding the highest ADR in Davenport for his niche. I mean, his niche is like wow. ten person plus. He's got past that forty. Uh, review mark on on Airbnb, which is great. So the algorithms are really favorable for him. Uh, he's getting his first ever referral bookings for direct, which is great. So he's just got that real solid foundation in place, which he needed. Um, but yeah, I mean, both of them have done well from it. Uh, both of them, are, like, I'm looking forward to seeing like the the next parts of it. And we really do document the whole journey uh, in that YouTube documentary that you're going to see. And what I'm hearing, and and actually is unusual for me is you're not just helping these two with making their property ready for direct bookings and making their website. Like it sounds like you're helping from top to bottom, actually creating SOPs and making their business automated, potentially scalable. You went really into the weeds. Yeah. I mean, this is a big misconception about what Boostly does. A lot of people just jump onto a call with us and think that we just help them with a website. Right, which is which is fair because I guess this is what like the industry knows us for. If you want a website, go to Boostly. But when you actually join Boostly, you get you get so much more than just that. We give you the roadmap to have a sustainable business. Uh, our goal for everybody is to get to sixty five percent direct bookings, uh, and obviously along the way we have to coach you. We have to do masterminds as part of that. We give you the tools, but we also give you the tactics and that guidance, and it, it all gets plugged in and being as part of. Of Boostly, and and if we don't offer that done for you service, we simply plug you into our recommended like little black book of, of people that that can offer that service. So yeah, we've we've been able to do that. We've been able to massively help Justina and and Kearney, and it's been amazing to be able to finally document it. Because um, like I said, we've been doing this for seven years, um, and we, we've we've helped so many people. But this year, we've been able to properly show it, put it together, and the team of done a really good edit to bring it down to like 50, 58 minutes, I believe it is. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, I'm excited to see it. So I know you've joked around. I know you've been on stage and <clears throat> said, you know, I'm the guy that Airbnb doesn't like. Right. But then you just said right now that you were talking about, you say his name's Kearney. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yeah. Kearney K I U N Y so, somewhere from the Caribbean. I believe. Okay. Republic, so, I so Kearney, we're talking about, he's already got 40 reviews on Airbnb and now he's starting to even make a bigger pivot into direct booking. So I got to ask when someone's new, are you still encouraging them to go on to the OTAs, to go on to Airbnb? Or are you saying start direct bookings right away? Don't get on the OTAs. So yeah, very tongue in cheek. I do like to get on stage and, you know, I say, you know, I'm the guy that Airbnb doesn't need to know about. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to, have to make sure that you are on those platforms. I mean, the big, again, another big misconception of what I talk about is that I'm going to get you to go cold turkey on all of these sites. Cancel your Airbnb, cancel your Verbo, cancel your booking.com. It can't be further from the truth. It is as dangerous as you being 100% direct as it is being you being 100% OTAs. You have to make the OTAs work for you and not the other way around. And this is the big fault that with so many people, 
And again, I don't blame Airbnb. I I absolutely love and adore the business model. I'm I'm you know I'm one of the biggest fans of what Brian Chesky and Nate and and this team have created there and Joe Gebby have created. I've followed the stories. I've seen it all. The problem isn't the OTAs. The problem is the host. The problem mm. is that everybody's watching because these platforms are being created to help you get revenue, right? And that's great, but when you are starting a business up, you've got all these spinning plates going on. If there's this one spinning plate that you can just put to market and just going instead of you know instead of me having day to day go out and drag people into a get awareness of my business, I can just put that on Airbnb. Sound, I'll leave it there, and that's all well and good because you've got all these other plates to deal with. You know how to do the cleans, how to do the property, am I doing the right rates and all of that stuff. But the, what the problem is, is that you rely on that spinning plate so much. What happens when it stops spinning, right? And that is the problem, is that so many people s rely on these platforms so much that when they stop bringing in the revenue, that's when you panic. That's when, you know, you go, oh my gosh, it's Airbnb bust, <laughs> right? Sure, yeah. So what, what I teach you and I, what I teach everybody mm -hmm. is that, hey, these these OTAs are there. This is what we said to Kenny, like you have got to tap in to their ability to get you a book in right now but as soon as a guest walks through your door you have to do everything in your power to get the data from that guest and data is date of birth it's phone number it's postal address it's email address because and we've done this now we've got about 43 reservations we've got 43 pieces of data the data that we collected and we show it in the documentary was we we figured out number one um, why every guest was booking with him, number two where every guest was coming from, which was key. Okay. Number three, we realized um, why they were coming to the area, right? And, and bearing in mind, this is Davenport, twenty minutes from. Uh, Disney World. It was about 30 minutes away from Universal. It was obvious they were coming for the theme parks, but it's like, okay, so why have they come to stay with, 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 with him? And this, this helps so much because we've now got these 40 pieces of amazing data, phone numbers, postal addresses, you know, Kearney's just been uh, doing a, an influencer marketing campaign. And part of that is to figure out from all of his guests that have come this year, What's the 80 20 rule? Where, where is uh, the 20% of locations where 80% of his guests are coming from? And we've realized that the majority of them are coming actually from Florida. They are driving, right? Wow. And this is something that he would never would have thought of before, but they're, they're, they're driving in. And because he's got over um, five bedrooms, so you can sleep up to 14 people, they're coming for a reunion or they're coming for a birthday, right? Or an anniversary, families that are getting together. And he would never have known this if he hadn't started collecting the data. So he used Airbnb to get on that platform. We uh, used the data that we were collecting to realize why people were booking with him. And we realized the reason why is that his games room has been decked out with this amazing murals of Avengers. He's got uh, pinball machines. He's got uh, Pac-Man. He's got, you know, all, all the bells and whistles. And that was his a unique selling photo, that first image that grabbed the attention that got the families going with young kids. And then what we realized on, on the back of that is that people loved it because of the location. So the location was great because they, they didn't get stuck on the I-4 in, in, in Orlando. And, and if anybody has been to Orlando on the I-4 is an absolute nightmare. You could go down the back roads to get into Disney and stuff. So the location was ideal. So we just amended the listing amended his marketing to speak to his ideal guests. Again, young families come into uh, Orlando, yeah, come, come into the parks. And we would never have got that if we hadn't have made the OTAs work for us. Now we've had a solid year behind his back. My advice to Kearney now is to listen, tap into this, utilize your marketing, utilize your emails, your phone numbers that you've built up, ask for referrals. And that's what he's starting to do. He's starting to get his diary booking. So if we speak to him in a year's time, He's gone from 40 pieces of data to 80 pieces of data. It will really, really massively help him. His goal now is to go to property two, property three, property four. He's looking at maybe Tampa. He's looking at other locations that he can potentially do. He's looking at creative financing and all those cool things to help him get there. But he has a solid foundation now to build on. Man, that's solid. I mean, one of the things that I think about is, you know, I know you're big on getting to 
your your guests getting their information and then using that information to market to them and getting those guests to tell other guests, potential guests, potential leads about you, right? Those referrals through word of mouth. But then I I hear this about Kearney and like he's he's realizing that people are getting in cars and they're driving to his Airbnb. There's not a lot of people actually getting into planes and coming from California or coming from Texas. They're coming from Florida. So is there anything within your playbook, you know, your, your bag of tricks where you say, Hey, whether it's Facebook market or uh, Facebook ads or Instagram ads or targeting ads, is there anything that you're teaching along those lines to say, okay, now you know where everyone's coming from. Here's how we go target those people. Well, the, the cool thing about what we teach is that if you do it well, and if you do it right, you will never have to spend any money on meta ads. Cool. You'll never have to give any money to X or LinkedIn or, or TikTok. You'll never have to do that because if you do this well, and if you do this right, you can turn all of your guests into your marketing machine. So we, we, we have a, a, a very cool system that we show within Boostly uh, of, of basically turning your guests into influencers. Right? How can you turn your your influences into super fans? And there's a definite ways and means into into doing that. And CUNY is testament to that. So as soon as they arrive in the property, we show them uh, the benefits of booking direct. There's actually a little printout that goes on the fridge uh, that we show them how to do it, and it says, "Hey, when you book with us direct, you save X." But we also, as well, direct people to the Instagram feed. And as soon as they get onto the Instagram feed, they can see other people having a great time. And we obviously then encourage people to um, share their pictures, uh, tag escape bookings online, tag them on Instagram. And as soon as you start doing that, that is where we start going from a guest to an influencer, right? And an influencer is key because think about when you post pictures online. It's when you're on vacation. Why? Because you want to show off to your friends back at home who are at work and doing the school run, right? And people are going to post anyway, right? They're going to post about the amazing time at you know the Disney parks or wherever. And, and I, I just want to add a little context here. Those of you that are watching this who aren't in Orlando, who aren't in those what is perceived as tourist destinations, you can still do this, right? Even if it's uh, business, right? Related events, like uh, events related, you can still do this. You just got to ask. So when people are posting and we're asking them to post and tag us in, uh, you know, uh, they will do so, right? And as soon as they do that tag, the people that's watching their posts, and it doesn't matter whether they've got one follower or a hundred thousand followers, the people that see it, they will see the the tag and they'll go, oh. Because they're nosy, right? They're nosy Norman. They will go and check out the post and they'll go see the page of where they're staying at. Yeah. Right? And then that's how they get their friends going, oh, my friend Kyle is staying here. And bearing in mind, 93% of all purchases done are on the back of social proof. It's like, oh, my friend Kyle's staying here. I would like to stay here as well, right? And, and it's so simple to do. And then to go from influencer to superfan is that once they've had their stay and obviously your guest communication has to be prim and proper and the stay has to be amazing and all those good things. After the guest has left, there's a little automated message that goes out that just says, hey, we loved hosting you, Kyle. You were yep. so cool. Thank you for leaving the place. So nice. Do you, is there anybody as cool as you that you know who needs a place to stay in Orlando? Uh, if so, please you know, set up a, a WhatsApp group chat, you know, Facebook messenger group chat, or just an email thread, introduce us, introduce your friend. Uh, and if they book on the back of your recommendation, we will send you X. Yeah, X could be anything. If you know that they've been to Disney, it could be, I will send you some, a, a, a Disney goodie back. It could be if they've been to Universal, I will send you some cool from Universal or whatever it may be. Could be a hundred, hundred dollars in Amazon vouchers, right? But if, if a booking comes in, and say it's seven grand booking, a hundred dollar spend for a seven grand booking is nothing. If you bring that back to what you're talking about with meta ads, if you were to say right now, I would give a hundred dollar to meta, which is Facebook, Instagram, and I would be guaranteed to get a $7,000 back book of back. All day long. Snap my hand off right now. <laughs> Fortunately, unless you really know how to utilize Facebook and right. Facebook ads. If you were to give, if I was to give Facebook right now, I would might as well just rip it up 
hundred dollars ripped up, throw away, right? But instead, I'm going to give that money to a guest who knows, likes, loves, and trusts us for on the back of a simple recommendation. And there's 99.9% .9 of people are listening to this or watching this right now going, that'll oh, never work for me because you haven't got the balls or lady balls to ask. And I, I firmly believe this. If you just asked and if you asked on a consistent basis, this would work. And I am proof to the pudding because it worked for us time and time again at our family business. And we show it with Kearney in the documentary how it worked and, and the results get on the back of it. Man, that's so much good stuff. I, I think the one thing that I love about what you do is just, it, it's so simple, right? Like when you own a business, you, sh you need to be asking everyone, who do you know? Right. Like that's how I built my team. That's how I've been able to get more properties. But also like we forget to ask guests that because we just think, oh, we just have this endless cycle of guests coming in because of Airbnb. But if you're serious about building your direct booking or your predictable income for the future, you got to ask the guests that question too. Who do you know? And I love that you're incentivizing them as well. But I, I think I, I would at least think that if they're having an amazing stay, they're just going to be talking about the place anyway. Um, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. So I want to ask you, I'm sure that your two uh, guests, your, your two subjects on this documentary learned a ton, but Mark, what did you learn through going through all this and teaching them? Was there any aha moments for you? Yeah. I mean, my main one was like, I naively thought that when we came out the other end, they would both have like the same trajectory, the same results. But it was it was fascinating. Like Kearney's results were so different to like Justina's. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they're both positive, which is which is great. And you know, um, I've chatted to them recently, and things are going great. And I would love to check in with them with six to twelve months time. But I the 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 reason why it succeeded for them is that they were simply action takers. There was no excuses, right? I, I would message them and I would say, hey, today I want you to do this. And it was done by the end of today. Like, especially Kearney. Kearney is still working in his W-2 job. He's a he's a single father, right? And, you know, he's he is doing so many things. And he was working night shifts uh, on his W-2 job. And I would still send him a message. Bearing in mind, I'm in the UK. He's in, he's in Eastern time. And I'd be sending him a message like 11 o'clock in the morning. And by, by the time that I'd like come back from the school run and check my messages, it's like done. And I'm like, that is what's going to help him succeed. He's hospitality minded first. Uh, the reviews speak for themselves and he just gets this industry. Um, and I'm really looking forward to like seeing his growth. And, and Justine, like Justina now, she's she's been there, done that. She's done this for a few years now. Um, she's growing the portfolio. She's doing the management model uh, and it's working. It's working well. Um I'm happy to report that she hasn't had shiny object syndrome on any software. <laughs> Hopefully that continues in 2024. Uh, and, and, and yeah, and you know, I, I just look at, I look at, like we've got 2,500 customers now at Boostly. We power 10,000 listings. And I look at the ones that come into Boostly who just expect to sign up, <laughs> wave a magic wand, do nothing, and then expect to get to 65% diary bookings. And I look to those that come in have you know turn up to the trainers that we do turn up to the coaching and the masterminds that we do uh really buy into everything that we're trying to achieve if we say try this they, they attempt it they're the ones who get to 65 percent direct bookings the ones who consistently just get one percent better every day nice. those are the ones that get there and 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 you know it's it's it's, it's amazing to see and i and i love to see it and you know the, the the proof is in the pudding the do you know anyone tip that i talked about i do it every single day at boostly this is how we've grown to being so many because we know if it works, you want to tell somebody else about it. And if there's a host, a friend, a peer, that you're part of a mastermind with, a coaching group with, or, or whatever, you want to tell them about it and, and help them grow. Because at the end of the day, if we can help a million people get to 65% direct bookings, then we can then go to the OTAs. We can go to Airbnb. We can go to booking.com. We can go to Expedia, who own Verbo. Because they believe that hosts don't want to do diary bookings. They believe that they just want a simple solution that they can get their cash and their check at the end of the month. And that they will put up with all the shit that gets thrown at them <laughs> through air cover claims or bad guests or whatever. Yeah. And and 
you know, it's not the case. And we want to go to them and say, hey, we love what you're doing. We love the growth. All of your ICOs and all of that, you made a lot of people very wealthy, but please don't forget about the hosts. And if we can get a seat at each table of these big corporations with the with the book direct movement behind us, and if it's a representation from Boostly, even better, to go, whatever decision you're going to make in the future, whether it is a, a category change or a, or a you know, a, a guest badge <laughs> or, a, or a guest favorite badge or whatever it may be in the future, like your, your message to Brian Chesky, I, I watched that and I was just like, if we could just have a mm. way in to the seat at the table to where Chesky oh, is and just say, hey, whatever you're thinking of doing, just think about this, then that is massive. But the only way we're going to do that isn't separately, it's by being a collective. So like that's it. why we're we're doing this seven years in and we're going to just keep on going until we're going to keep knocking on that door until they eventually let us in. So if we can do it collectively, even better. You've got a great mission. You've got great passion. That's one thing I've never doubted from you is, I mean, anytime you talk about something, even if it's just as simple as the photos on an Airbnb, you, you always share that message with passion. And that's why I love having you back on here. Um, really quick before we tell people where they can see this documentary uh, and see more of that passion shine through. I do want to remind everyone who is watching live here in the six figure formula, you already have a discount, an exclusive discount to Boostly. So make sure you go check that out in the discount section of the course. For Team Fearless, if you're checking in and you're not part of the six-figure formula and you're like, I want to be a part of Boostly, before you do, just jump in to the six-figure formula. It's free for the first three days, or you can do it for $49 a month and get that discount with Boostly because, uh, as you can hear, like it's powerful value. Um, and that's at fearlesskyle.com slash 6FF. So, Mark, where can people watch this? When can they watch it? Um, let's Let's find that out. Yeah. And before I do, for anybody who is in the 6FF, I've got some special training behind the scenes that I did uh, a little bit back, which goes into these direct booking tips and more. And you get access to that when you join. So do go check that oh, out. Sweet. Um, it's all in there behind the scenes. And also, so, okay. So the, the YouTube documentary, all I need for you to do is open up your YouTube app, right? Go to Boostly, B-O-O-S-T-L-Y. All right. Uh, on the channel, there is the premiere that has been lined up. You just hit notify me. So go and subscribe to the channel. Find that premiere video. It's sitting at the top one as you come in. Hit notify me. And then when we go live on the 26th of December at 8 p.m. UK, which is 2 p.m. Central, uh, you will get a notification to say we're going live. It's a one-hour watch party. We're going to watch it live together. I'll be in the chat. We'll be doing some giveaways in the chat as well, which would be cool. Um, but yeah, just just come and join us. Like after, after the Christmas Day feast, you're just chilling on the sofa, relaxing. You can put it on on a phone, a laptop, or the TV, and we'll watch this documentary together. That's what I'm talking about. I just notified myself. I clicked that notify me button. I'm ready to to go on the live with you, uh, Mark Simpson with Boostly. I'm super excited for your documentary. Thank you for jumping on here to the Fearless Investor Podcast and helping our audience to conquer the world of short-term rentals. And I hope all of us will tune in uh, right after Christmas to see this new documentary. Thank you very much for having me. Very easy. Go on to YouTube, search Boostly, B-O-O-S-T-L-Y. And then that very first video on the front, it literally just says, notify me. Just hit that notify me and you are going to be in the know when that drops. That's going to do it right now for the Fearless Investor Podcast. We're helping you to conquer the world of short-term rentals. We will see you next time, Team Fearless.